Since the onset of March May rains, Kenya Red Cross now says that 16 counties, 17,445 households, and approximately 24,010 acres of arable land have been affected by floods. Tana River County now becomes the latest county to experience the effects after floods submerged the area, cutting off communication channels. Farmers, businessmen and residents of Tana Delta, Tana River County, are counting losses after floods marooned the area, cutting off communication channels with more than 10 cargo trucks stuck with fresh farm produce after the raging waters made the areas inaccessible. Business people who had come to buy watermelons from the farms stated that the lorries stuck in water might be driven out sometimes in August when the water is expected to have subsided. Farmers on their part said that the traders had taken advantage of the situation and were buying the produce at 10 shillings per kilogram down from the normal 25 shillings. Mr. Bonea Kone, a farmer from Massa Village, is counting losses worth half a million after the produce in his 16-acre farm got destroyed by water from the Tana River. Kama wao sasa wenye magari gari 12 zote zimekuwa marund. Watatoka vipi na watasaidika vipi na wao pengine ni watu wamechukua loans. Asara ambayo nimepata ni nyingi mno. Siwezi nikaongea kwa jumla kwa sababu tuko wengi lakini mimi kama mtu binafsi hapo nilipo nafikiri nimepoteza kama 1100. The state of affairs for Ibrahim Mohamed and Ibrahim Komoro is not different from that of Mr. Bone Akone. Tana River nini county inapatiwa 8 billion. Sasa tunaona hii ni maneno ya, ya ambaye ya, ya nini county inafaa kushughulika. Manake nikitoka hapa hivi na hii shida ambaye niko naye na wapata pale hivi kwa barabara wananiliti wananilipisha wana nini tax ya 1500 na lipa ushuru wa 1500 kwa kila gari. Sasa tunaomba serikali isaidie wale wako kule ngabo angalau tu wafungisiwe hizo gari hasa juu serikali iko na nguvu. The residents of Tana River County are now calling upon the Kenya Defense Forces, the National Youth Service and the Kenya Red Cross to construct temporary bridges or floating bridges to enable the movement of the farm produce. Communities are being advised to avoid walking or driving in moving water, not sheltering under trees and near grilled windows to minimize exposure to lightning strikes. Theo Masharia for KUTV News.